Google is taking on five tech giants with the new products it launched at I.O. 2016. Home versus Echo. The first product caught in the crossfire will be the Echo. Google even referenced it during the keynote, giving Amazon due credit for making home hubs popular. Air freshener jokes aside, Google's home is shaping up to be a worthy rival of the Echo. There's deeper search integration and the ability to communicate with dumb devices, like an old TV or stereo via Chromecast. Allo versus Messenger. Next up, messaging. Google wants you to ditch Facebook's Messenger and WhatsApp in favor of Allo. Like WhatsApp, Allo is tied to your phone number and not your Google account with some of the same advanced features of Messenger. Stickers, photo doodles, app integration, and a digital assistant. What's cool or creepy about Allo is its built-in assistant will offer up canned responses based on your conversation history or contextual information right in your chat box. Duo versus FaceTime. Duo is a video chat app completely independent of Allo for Android and iOS. Like FaceTime, it has a clean interface showing you a full screen video of the caller on the other end, but it's reportedly faster and won't cut out even on a spotty connection. Oh yeah, and it has Knock Knock, which may be more of a drawback than a plus. It lets you see live video of the caller before you even answer. Google Assistant versus Siri, Cortana, and Alexa. And then there's the brains behind all these devices. Google's own gender-neutral assistant will provide a more personalized experience across all your devices. The more you use it, the smarter it gets, starting right on your search bar. While other virtual assistants may only display search results, Google's assistant will be able to give you a contextual response to a query and engage in a full conversation. Daydream versus Oculus. Both are VR platforms that can be integrated into third-party hardware. Everything from Google Daydream's home interface to the headset and controller is reminiscent of what we've already seen from Oculus. Like Oculus on the Gear VR, Daydream is mobile-based, meaning you'll need a VR-ready phone to run the platform. The experience on a phone may not live up to the full immersion of a PC-based Rift, but we won't really know until we strap on the headset this fall.